two games, 22 innings, spanning over eight hours. Those are the first numbers that stick out when you take a look back at Rio Hondo's Marathon Regional Semifinal on Saturday night. Perhaps the most dramatic moment was losing game two. That put the Bobcats on the brink of elimination. I knew that we could do it, but we were just hurting because it was obviously a long day and a really hard game, but we knew that we could beat them. We were pretty much saying that we didn't want to go home, that we were going to give it all we got, even though we just played for almost five hours. With the team's top two pitchers, Miranda Martinez and Jennifer Flores, exhausted from game two, the Bobcats turn to Annie Alvarado. The junior came up clutch with the season on the line. Alvarado pitched the first complete game of her career, helping the Bobcats punch their ticket to the Elite Eight for the first time in school history. I felt really amazing. I've never been a part of something like that, so it was really nice to be a part of that. And I'm sure the rest of my teammates haven't been a part of that, so it was good for them too. Coming into this weekend, we didn't know we were going to throw all three pitchers, but everyone's could come up being a hero each game. Proved to be the difference uh, in the series. I mean, um, you know, they had a great, a great team, fantastic plays defensively from their side. Uh, they have tons of team speed, and, and we played just tremendous defense. After all of that drama in the Sweet 16, Rio Hondo gets a chance at revenge in the regional finals. The Bobcats take on Beville Jones, the same team that knocked them out in the bi-district round last year. That series gets started on Friday night in Corpus Christi. Reporting in Rio Hondo, Brandon Ortega, Channel 5 Sports.